Did we talk? Hello, everyone. We're back. Sorry for the uh, for the like disruption in the stream there. That was really uh, weird. I don't know why that happened, but we're back. Uh, it's okay. Uh, we are at the top of initiative with a uh, defect. That's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get it. Um, I was um, top of the order. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, I mean, thank you. I have a whole good initiative, me. and it's useless. <laughs> right. So I am still raging, and I got to make sure I'm hitting this. So I will use reckless attack, and I will go at it with my axe. On. Yes! Oh! Oh yeah, that's a natural kill twenty, baby. Kill it. Did I kill it? <laughs> Tell me how I want to do it. Uh, I will say you do not kill it. No. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Um, just a moment. I have to adjust something real quick. Uh, cool, cool. Weird, yeah, that crash like messed up a few things, so I'm just fixing that in my world here. No. Cool. All right, great. Uh, yes, well done. That's a 20 to hit. That absolutely hits uh, for 16 points of damage plowing deep into it uh well done that brings us uh to spoot dum, dum, dum. i really need tanner to return um okay so spoot is going to disengage and Duck into this. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to duck into this doorway and I'm going to tell, I'm going to yell at uh, Defect to move back into the room. Oh! Hmm. Yes, I should remember that. Um, <laughs> crap! I'm going to do that. Ha ha ha! So, Can I? Jesus Christ. We, someone needs... We need one less person with not dark vision in the party. Um, only, there's only two of you. <laughs> okay. New idea. Still disengaging. <laughs> moving back against the back wall. There okay. we go. Everyone can still see. Spoots out of dragon range, hopefully. Okay. And medicine check on my friend Defect. Yep, go for it. This is I should never play a wise character. I only let them down. Uh so uh Defect uh is hurt a little bit, not terribly, but like that dragon you know that dragon hurts a lot defects can take some damage but that's a dangerous creature right there mm -hmm. yeah he hurts mm -hmm. yeah okay <laughs> y'all are just lucky so, his dragon breath has not recharged <laughs> yes we are very lucky um so preemptive healing word on uh da -da -da, on defect okay defect regains eight points of health Thank you. And I am still praying. Okay. Greg, it is your turn. You hear screaming and crashing and all stuff coming through uh, the other room there that your friends are in. Sorry. The dogs I'm dog sitting are playing with my dog. They're being very loud. <laughs> it's very distracting. Um, Understood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. Um, I'm going to use a spell slot to recreate my chomper. All right, great. Because I can do that as an action. 
Mm -hmm. um, and so Chomper will reappear with me. All right. Bonk. Uh, great. Got and a little then chompy chomp. two chomper. of us, my Chomper love and I, my little cannon, are going to move. Oh, I have to move us one by one because that's a doorway. Um, we're going to like swing around to this side of the room. Mm -hmm. And the real question is, can it go through the like wall doorway to get to? The doorway is open, so yeah, it's a door. My best friend. Okay, but it like can reach. Oh, the like aura. There. Um, I don't know if the aura goes through. I don't either. <laughs> uh, things. Well, let's find out. If I look at First, artificial rules. Energy. Hmm. Let's see. It emits a burst within ten feet. Hmm. I can. It has enough movement that it can go into the doorway, burst, and move back to me. I can do that. Great. If it's vague at all, I just was curious about that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to say that uh, it can't go through walls, but like sure. it can go around corners. You know what I mean? For sure. All right. So it'll like chick, 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 little spider legs into the doorway, do its little boo, boo, boo. And um, then I'll have it creep back onto my shoulder. So eight temp HP to really just um, defect because that's all that's in range. Yep. Yep. And then it'll just like dip, 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 dip back to be next to me so it doesn't get smashed. All right, cool. Um, as it leaves, uh, that's a 16 to hit. It does not hit. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, it just whoosh, scampers right away. Sweet. Awesome. Uh, anything else, Greg? Okay, then uh, it is now the dragon's turn. Um, ha <laughs> uh, He smiles and rears back and kind of howls in glee and comes in to uh, attempt to bite uh, Defect. That is a yep. 22 to hit. Yep. Uh, 15 piercing reduced to 7. And 2 lightning damage. Hmm. And then a claw attack against you. That is a 19 to hit. Yep, that hits. Uh, that would be 8 reduced to 4 points of slashing damage. Okay. And then a 15 to hit. I dodged that. Yeah, you dodged the last claw attack. Which brings us to Adis. Hmm. Adis pops his head into the room. And he says some clever one line about, I told you I'd be bad. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and he throws a good berry across the room at the dragon, his only weakness. Um, yeah. He's kind of, <laughs> and we're all safe <laughs> by a good mystery. <laughs> and we're all safe. Okay, and he's gonna try to shoot him with his own bow. I appreciate it. your <laughs> attempts at um, lightening the mood. Lightening the mood. Um, a seventeen, however, does not hit. We are in danger. He says, <laughs> and he goes back the way he came. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> that brings us back oh, up no. to defect. All right. Um, Where is fairy fire? Uh, I will just say, Spoot. Remember what spells have aided you well. Me? Yes, you. Oh, me? Yeah, I know, but I had to disengage last time. So sure. I can use him. Uh, defect, it is your turn. All right. Uh, same thing as before. Uh, reckless attack. Mm-hmm. And... 
<laughs> Natural 20 again. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, do, 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 do. Such a fucking roll. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, hells yeah. Uh, hells yeah. That is... Oof. That is a big old 22 points of damage to that dragon. As you Ooh. cleave through, scales going flying. Big old scar across its chest. Roar! It's getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Woof. Well done, defect. Spoot. Aha. I just saw what I should have done with Adis last turn. Anyway. Um, great. So Spoot is going to call mm -hmm. upon his god assistance and he is going to cast a spiritual weapon all right i thought Very you nice would time. so where would you like your spiritual weapon to appear uh oh it's a shame i don't um right beside defect here all right it's a shame that it does not get packed up it does not because it is not a thing but hey I knew this was coming. So behold, Spoot's spiritual weapon, the Ooh. Turtle Club. That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? I think That's it's great. So cute. I That's made so this good. just for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I really hope my character lives another day to use yep. it more. Uh, and the little blue bar, <laughs> and you can control it and move it and all that stuff, and the little blue bar is uh, how, long it, how long it stays. It stays for a minute, right? Uh, that's correct. Yep, so 10 rounds. So this counts as one, so I'll go ahead and put it in there. And it is not a concentration check, I, I believe, right? Spiritual it weapon? It is not. That yeah. is very true. Um, so you summon it. Uh, however, the 10 does not hit. Um, but Ooh. you, but it is there now. Like, it's there. And, um, yeah, I... The, the first round doesn't mark a tick off. So on the start of your next turn, you'll mark a tick off. Oh, okay. I'll just I'll leave it for now, and I just won't change it next time. I think. All right. Cool. Um, could I also? Now I'm forgetting jumping back to Anatus and Spoot. I think I'm just going to do another medicine check on Defect. Okay. Uh, yeah, with a sixteen, uh, he's he's kind of like about where he was before you healed him last time. Um, uh, he's. He's not like super injured, but that dragon does a lot of mean things to people. This is not good. I need to be able to cast more spells. <laughs> um, okay, that's it for now. All right, that brings us to Greg. Sorry. <laughs> 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 there are dogs around. I can tell. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Release the hounds, Grig. <laughs> They're released. They're released. All right. Go around the corner. Fire your firebolt. Uh, 23 will absolutely hit. Aha. Four damage. Yes. Um... And my cannon will be on my shoulder and like in the same spot. Uh all right. You know what? No. I if I No, it can't reach him. Oh, but it can't reach me. Okay, so I will have the cannon scooch into the doorway just like last time. Okay. And do its little blah, 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 magic right. light. Yeah, go ahead. Pulse it. Eleven. Nice. Temporary hit points to defect. Defect, you have eleven temporary hit points. I'm gonna need every one of them. Right. Uh, and then both my cannon and I will just like scooch back to where we were, basically. All right. Hop back over. Yeah, the dragon the like reaches out with its back claw to get the little thing, but a fifteen misses your cannon. Yes. Chomper wins. Uh, it is now the dragon's turn. Uh, the dragon has seen that Spoot is uh, the healer type of person. Huh. So it snarls at you, Spoot, and opens its mouth wide and unleashes a torrent 
of uh, lightning energy. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. That's a good thing. That is one of my favorite abilities. It's not. Oof, okay. All right. So a 13 is a failure. Oof. Um, oh, God. Math. Uh, does the it, afterworld, Matt. <laughs> this plus this plus this equals Spoot is dead. Um, you may not be dead, actually. Well, if I go down... I like... Because half... Because twice your max hit points is 70, right? Ah, uh, yes. These are not good numbers to talk about. Right. No. <laughs> um, no, it's not. I need to math this out. I knew I should have left the room. Okay, so yeah, Spoot, uh, you get blasted uh, for 66 points of damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you're down, but you're not dead dead. You are unconscious, mm -hmm. however. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the dragon grins. And laughs maniacally. <laughs> Yes, fall to me. Uh, and that brings us to Adis's turn. Ah, yes, that's also me. Um, can I roll like a d100 to see if Adis just takes his chances and runs? <laughs> uh, just kidding. <laughs> um, okay, this is what I should have done earlier. So I'm going to... I don't know why I didn't think of this. Like I said, I don't know Adis. I'm going to cast this on... Uh, the uh, defect. If I'm understanding it correctly, it's sh oh no, uh, no uh, it, it will uh, no that that, that, that spell will not uh, affect that dragon not kinds. For, so. Yeah, that's not for dragons. No. Backtrack. I will not do that. Okay, well I'll just attack the dragon then. Uh, so I'll pop back in. These food on the ground. Good I don't berry. Think I, have... I mean, Adis do... does oh, yeah, have good berries. Good. Good berry. I do have a good berry. You're right. I forgot about that. Thank you. I'll pop a good berry in its mouth. All right. It is an action to do so, but... It is an action to do so, and I will now go back to my little... Yeah. So you... So Adis pops in, looks down, sees Spoot on the ground, rushes over, administers a good berry, says, come on, get up. We need you in this fight, and scoots back. Uh, Spoot, you now have one hit point. Excellent. Does... I'm sorry to ask this. Does the spiritual weapon stay? Because it's not concentration? Because uh, he went unconscious. I'll read, but I... Uh, I it is not concentration, so I believe it persists. If he was, concent it rules. If he was concentrating on it, I would say that it pops away. But because it is not concentration, it just exists for a minute. Okay. So it wouldn't do I, anything I if he was dead. Think, yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah, right. It would just be <laughs> right. there. But it's still there. You don't have to cast yeah. it again. Yeah, that's true. Oh, hey, ladies and gentlemen, oh, boys oh and God, girls, children of <laughs> all ages. Uh, we is have Tanner. Great time to Tanner. Have Tanner, we're dying. This is not a drill. I mean, I told you so. It's fine. We can kill it. It's fine. Amber is worried. Greg does not. Greg is like, we got this. Okay, only one down. We're good. Spoot is worried. Me. Mateo is worried. <laughs> True. <laughs> Greg um, is so. Uh, what's my health at, Matt? It's actually a thirty out of thirty. Uh, I wasn't supposed to say that out loud. It's okay. You're, you're oh, healthy. I, I need to keep track of it. So. Yeah, oh. you're you're thirty out of thirty-two. Okay. I've only used one spell slot. It was for fairy fire, and it failed. Um. But I haven't tried it. Again. Well, you also and you used your free it's hunter's mark. mark. Oh yes. Oh, that counts as spell slot, doesn't it? Or no. doesn't? No, no, he, he can he can do it once your... a day for free because he's cool like that. He's cool. He's a ranger. No, that's a, that's cool. a special trait. You've also done second to defect the most damage to this dragon so far. Awesome. Also true. I critted twice. Yeah. You what? 
He got two I, I crit two crits on that dragon. Time's still loading. I tried to throw a good berry at it to ward it away, but it uh, it was not bothered. <laughs> Is it still Adis' turn, or did I actually complete it right before Tanner joined? Uh, you completed it right completed before it. Tanner joined, uh, which brings us up to Defect. Sorry. Um, I was out in the hallway. Yeah, uh, you were hiding because you're squishy. <laughs> uh, everything worked well before, so I'm going to do the same thing. Reckless attack. Yeah. Uh, great axe. Come on, crit number three. Oh, Oof. no. A ten oh, nope. this time does it. not uh, does not hit, however. All right, that's my turn. All right, uh, Spoot, you are up with one hit point. You can use half your movement to stand up. <laughs> Sorry. I will use half my moment to stand up, I think. And um Okay. Oh nope, I didn't mean to actually do that for reals. Um Oh gosh. I honestly don't know what to do here. Um I'm going to... If you're going to run and hide, could you cast me? Cast light on you, I know. Is that the metagame? I'm sorry, I should have said no. that. Uh, no, I, I'm totally, I've totally been thinking of that. Um, question is, do I need to run and hide? Uh, this is so bad. Everything's so bad. you have enough movement. If you can go up behind Defect, I don't think you'll be in striking range. <laughs> yeah, then defect will be on strike. <laughs> what was that? Did we hear some some yeah, ethereal some laughter? Time. We got some time before uh, lightning happens. Not to meta too much. Sorry, meta pigeon. Do, 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 yeah, okay. my well, lightning yeah, breath. you don't know how quickly that lightning breath recharges. It seemed frustrated that it wasn't coming earlier, but you now know that it will come back at some point. That's very true. Okay, <clears throat> so here we go. I think I'm gonna have to do this. Does the light uh, survive him being unconscious? Yeah, it First is also not do, a concentration spell. I'm going to use my action to cast aid. And what aid I'm going to cast it, I should specify, on uh, defect. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. I just checked this earlier. I want to make sure we're all within range. Uh, defect myself and Grig, who is just within range. It increases by five your temporary and your maximum. Uh, you, hit points? Hit points, yeah. So that may not actually like do much in the grand scheme of things, but um, HP is HP. Yeah, enter yeah. each target to point maximum and current increases by f oh current and maximum increase by five, not the temporary. Okay, so yeah, so everybody in that range gains five hit points. And your max increases temporarily by five. Correct. Which we could probably play as just five temporary, yeah. Uh, no, because some people already have temporary hit points from Grig. Oh, you're yeah. right. And yeah. this gets me past my normal maximum, but only because I can go past because of aid. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, the it would way, just stop. The way this yeah. dragon is breathing lightning on people... Max hit points is important at this point. Mm -hmm. Do you? Uh, quick question. Uh, to, to clarify, do you have to specify, or is it everything in a range? It is uh, three. I have to choose three. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Sorry, Adis. You are hopefully not going to be going toe to toe with this dragon. <laughs> um, I like to rage and go reckless. <laughs> <laughs> wrong character. Wrong character. Wrong you campaign. You missed Matt say that he might. Multi-class. I, I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah, if I want to actually part. be, yeah, if I want to be useful. Um, <laughs> so Great. All right. And then, and then I still have 15 feet of movement left. You do, good. yes. Okay. Very far. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to. Oh gosh. Oh. 
All right, this may be stupid, but I'm going to run over here. Okay. Oh, he didn't move. Oh, gosh, I got to reselect the thing. Yep. <laughs> All right, Greg, then, what are you going to do? Oh, you have more? I, I still have, I technically have a bonus action. You do have your bonus action, so you can use your spiritual weapon attack. I'm going to do that. I'm going to attack with a spiritual weapon. Go, go, go. Sorry, guys, I'm taking so long. I really wish I had two uh, monitors. <laughs> a 24 will absolutely hit for 11 right. points of force damage as your turtle shell club bonks the guy right on the head and he goes, uh, which, Adis, if you didn't see it, turtle club. Love and, it. I say, and I say, cowabunga, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Dear God. Um, great. Greg, it is your turn. Uh, Greg is going to hop into the doorway with the cannon uh, just ahead. Kind of like, oops, wrong person. But just like we did before, um, so the cannon will hop into the doorway. Greg is going to be just behind it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to cast Fiery Fire this time. Okay. What? Fiery Fire? Yeah. <laughs> fiery Fire? How, it's how, extra hot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How bad is it looking? Can I? Is that like free? Can I? You can make a medicine check on it, sure. Okay, I don't want to like waste an action on it, but I would like to. Sure. It's only. Uh, you have I no have idea. You've never seen a dragon before. This thing is like easily three times your size. It is terrifying. It's still okay, upright. <laughs> All right, I'm going to still cast fairy fire. Then it's a DC 14 on the deck save. All right. It fails. It rolls a seven. Oh my god. Thank god. Great. Love it. Uh, it D5. Yeah. Ooh, nice. And uh protector wow. will do yeah. this little pew pew just in case. It is lined with fairy fire. Uh and that right, rusty that's red fire. muddy grossness. Yeah. I... Cool, and, cool, cool. Um, that's amazing. Nine temp to anybody who has less than nine. Cool. So defect, if you have less than nine, you get nine temp hit points. It's just defect, I guess, is in range. Yeah, it's yeah. just defect. Sorry. Oh and, boy. <laughs> uh, and, and then your your cannon and we'll scampers back. back. All right. Yeah, uh, like... Eleven to hit with a claw attack. It misses the it chomper misses. again. Great. Chomper and I will be over here. All right. Um, doorways. Okay. Yeah. The dragon raises its hand at her head and goes Rawr! and you can see like little sparks sputter but it's just frustrated and angry uh as it oh. turns back to defect to bite him yep. that's a 21 to hit yep uh that would be 10 points but reduced to five piercing plus one lightning damage okay uh first claw attack is a 17 to hit miss Ooh, second claw attack is another 17 to hit. Yes. Oh my god. The dragon is just ragey and angry and roaring and like this dragon is pissed, y'all. <laughs> uh -huh. which brings us to Adis. Advantage. Yeah, and I was going to do fairy fire, but <laughs> I fuck it. I just needed it to be done. I wasn't I know, sure well. if it was prepared or not. I should have done it sooner. Yeah, so you you do have your concentration on your hunter's mark. Is uh, that what that little mark on me is? Yep. Skull? Yep, that's your hunter's mark. So you can still use your bonus action to do your force thing in combination with hunter's mark because it doesn't cost you a bonus action to maintain hunter's mark. So you're good. I updated D and D or the the roll twenty thing. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little uh, updatey. Eighteen? An eighteen just hits. Oh damn. Right. Yeah. Your just arrow again. just makes it through. Uh twelve force damage. Yep. And roll for hunter's mark. Oh right. Yeah, I'm reminding you because you weren't here, so. Six. Wow, eighteen from an arrow. I knew he rolled better than me. 
Yeah, just <laughs> yeah. arrow right in the neck. The dragon roars. <laughs> Bringing us to defect. Then he just scoots back. Yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> I imagine so. Uh, defect, this dragon has multiple arrows sticking out of it. It is li limed with, uh, with fire. You have advantage on an attack already. So you don't have to be reckless with this one. You do not. Correct. Right, so axe to the face. What do I got? Uh, 22 mm -hmm. will hit. Six, though. Nah. Uh, for six points of slashing damage. All right. Uh, brings us to Spoot. Mm, Okie dokie. I think I know what I need. <clears throat> I want to know what Spoot does. <laughs> Spoot needs to check the range. 30 feet. Okay. So. The tones, Jared. <laughs> uh, not really. I apologize to the internet for that. But <laughs> So Craig is unfortunately just outside of my range now. But outside of my don't, range now. Don't apologize. I'm gonna cast. That's a little Tiffany for you kids out there. <laughs> All right. Cast bless. Oh wait, what did I just do? Tiffany, though, isn't it? That's um. That should have been Edward. somebody else. Was it? That's fine. I just remember Tiffany. I forget who. I do it. too, but but it was a cover from somebody <laughs> older than that. Ah. I'm choosing defect. Yep. Boot. Oh gosh, did I do this wrong? Let me make sure that. Yeah, Senatus, thank God he was in the range. Yeah, great. So you all are um, blessed as well. So you get the D4 on your uh, attacks and saves. Nice. And then bonus action attack with spiritual weapon. Which has advantage because of the fairy fire. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It does. It doesn't get like flanking or pack tactics or anything like that, <laughs> but it's a lot easier to hit when it's lined in glowing red fire. Yay! Oh yeah, for another seven points of damage, boom! You actually rolled some damage, Matt. I'm a proud. Nice. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this. I'm kind of scared. Yeah, uh, that brings us to Greg. Unless you want to move, Spoo, in which case, feel free to do so. Um. Yeah, actually, I can do. I'm just going to move back to whatever my... Oh, no, we can't move that far. Never mind. So basically, about spiritual weapon is your thing. Sacred flame is not. <laughs> <laughs> this is what oh, we've me? learned. Yes. Although, the damage for a few was still a two or a three. That's true. I wrote a three on spir uh, spiritual flame. <laughs> it was really special. All um, right, Greg. Greg, Greg is going to pull the same thing. Just, like, hop in the doorway... Cannon will just hop in front. Yep. I'm gonna firebolt some more. This is my thing. 25. 25 absolutely hits. Yeah. Great. Four fire damage. Um, and the protector is gonna just blue ling. All right. Nice. Uh, it's the uh, 20s. I don't think that applies. I, it doesn't really apply. So it's just four temporary hit points to defect if That's he is cool. down and missing some. Well, cool. And then we'll just do the same. Like, hooch back. Mm -hmm. uh, the dragon roars and attempts to stick and claw out. That's a 19 to hit. That one does hit. For eight points of slashing damage. That's okay. Uh, so Chomper takes eight points of slashing damage from the dragon's back claw. Great. Uh, it is now the dragon's turn. Ha 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 ha. He roars at defect. Um, and just opens his mouth and roars, and you see sparks in its jaws as it point blank blasts a lightning bolt at you. Defect, I yeah. need you to make a dexterity saving throw. No, that's not good. Yeah, it's, it's a sad okay. thing. Vintage. Um, it's bless. Yeah, you do have a D4 from Bless as well. Bless, Advantage so. and Bless. Fuck to the yes. All right. Yeah. There's a 23. That is a success. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, wow. Okay, cool. Interesting. I want to escape it. Instead of taking 
67 points of lightning damage. You take 33. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Yeah, if there was if there was a time to save on a dexterity saving throw, that was it. That was it. That was it. Um so yeah, you get a little a you get a little charred up. And the dr- the dragon seeing you're still up roars in frustration. Uh Adis, it is your turn. You see from around the corner like a lightning flash and a dragon roar. And you hear Defect just kind of, Owie! Does he say Owie? I don't know what he says, so it's up to Defect. <laughs> but I like to imagine he does, because I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I will pop in. <laughs> yeah. Hi, it's me. Hi. Yeah, you see all this. You see Defect is like smoking and, and kind of charred and streaked. Uh, and I will shoot him. All right. Attack roll with advantage. 23. 23 hits. Absolutely. Yeah. Plus, plus, plus. Oh, I didn't need it. Never mind. Sorry. Yep. 14. Oh, plus another six. So that is 20. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, the dragon is starting to look pretty beat up. It's bleeding. It's got a lot of arrows in it. Uh, Yeah. It's looking pretty rough. It's going to poke back here. Relatively speaking. Uh, defect. It is your turn. You have just been... Electrified. Oh, yeah, blasted. But you are still within range. You, This thing is still glowing. A 20 will absolutely hit. Sweet. 13. For 13 yeah. slashing damage. Yeah. You chop into it, and it's... Oh, it's looking really beat to shit right now. It's in rough, rough shape. Uh, Spoot, it is your turn. I'm so stressed. Um, Medicine check on the dragon. Okay, go for it. Uh, You have never seen a dragon before. You have no idea how tough they are, but this thing has taken a beating. And it is peppered with (laughs) arrows, and it is slashed with a great axe, and bonked with your turtle shell uh, club, but it is still standing. It looks like it's been damaged a lot, but it's still there. Uh, It's a little intimidating, actually, (laughs) as you're trying to figure it out. I am... Did you say titillating? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> depending on who you are uh i wow. said intimidating but you know the scales the scales do something for spoot he doesn't quite understand it but um, well, horrifying and wonderful <laughs> indeed he's trying to suppress and focus in the battle it's very difficult um i am going to maybe do something crazy all right I'm go for it to- Cast guiding bolt on this as a second level spell slot. All right, go for it. Yeah. Oh, a thirteen does not hit, unfortunately. So not even with a, another four. Uh, I, yeah. If you even if you rolled the four, it would it would still not hit. I knew that was going to happen. The moment I wasted, whatever. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Oh man, you've got your oh, bonus action. So close. Spiritual weapon. Bonus oh, action. Club. Yeah, T U R T L T power is where it's at, uh, as it takes another ten points of force damage. Uh and I wasted that second level spell slot. Greg, it is your turn. Great. I'm gonna do the same thing. Pop in, except uh, you know, let's see if this hits first. Uh, uh, a, a twenty will hit. Great, it hits. For the damage that might roll eventually. For four, four plus points of, fire. of the small. Oh, of the small. So another four. So another four. There you go. Yeah, All right. It does eight damage, and then my little protector is gonna step in the doorway just like always and go bling mm-hmm. for seven temporary hit points for my Fallen best friend defect. All right. 
Uh, that's a 13 on the claw attack as it scampers back. Yeah. Such a miss. Yeah, uh, it is now the dragon's turn. And it roars, and you see through the wounds and stuff, you see energy collect in its chest. And it just... No! I will not be defeated by you scum! And it reels back, and once again... Uh, I need defect to make a dexterity saving throw, please. Advantage in d4. Advantage and a d4. Yeah, you're so blessed. Oh, I'm doing great. No. Oh. No. Roll the d4. Roll the d4, just for fun. Roll the d4. Oops. <laughs> 15. 15? The DC is a 16. I'm dead. I'm done. Ugh. the afterlife uh yeah <laughs> defect goes down uh you're not outright dead because you have a f fuck ton of hit points but you are <laughs> unconscious you're no longer raging but you're unconscious and prone on the ground and the dragon just kind of <laughs> you will be mine and rushes over to spoot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, Adis, it is your turn. You hear the pounding of heavy feet and claws on stone. You hear the blast. You see the light kind of bounce off. And Do I, do I hear like windows powering down? Yeah, you hear the <laughs> kind of echoing off of the chambers. <laughs> going to just like turn the corner and see that it's now moved yeah shoot it again yeah go for it it's still fairy fire at advantage so 30 to, or, no, 25 25 will absolutely hit go ahead deal damage 12 okay plus two cool 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 uh so Adis, you line up your shot on this horrible fucking dragon that's killing your friends. How do you kill it? Um, Way to come in at the last minute and steal the show, Tanner. <laughs> really though? Gosh, um, I really wanted it to be. Just like as it starts running towards Spook. Um, have I seen this thing breathing yet? Like actually seen it? Seen it? Uh, you, you saw the lightning breath happen once, yeah. Okay. Um, like, I guess, like, if it still has some of the energy, like, in its throat, I just shoot at the lightning. All right. Like, it come out. Very cool, yeah. So you line up. Uh, you see a little bit of a tear, like, in its throat that's kind of bleeding, but you see, like, a little spark of energy. You line up your shot, and you release it, uh, using it as, like, a target and a beacon. And it goes whoosh, right in to the neck, burying itself a good like halfway down the shaft of this arrow. And you hear a whoosh, and kind of purplish blue blood begins to foam up from the dragon's mouth as it roars and death rows. And as it's running towards Spoot, collapses on the ground, skidding to a halt right in front of him, dead. I'm just going to say that while it started to run its boot, he started to dip his head into the shell. <laughs> <laughs> so he saw, he saw none of this happen, and then he just hears the sound stuff, and he's like... And and Greg heard, like, the defect falling down sound and started charging in the room going, ah! Yeah, absolutely. Like... <sighs> yeah. So well... in one hand, Jeweler's hammer in the other. Ah! Oh! Oh! Well, Latus, that was was quite the shot. Uh, thank you. It's kind of a risky shot. I didn't know if that would actually do anything, but... You know what? We needed risk uh, at that point. Good berry. Oh, God. You're my oh, God. best friend. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll run mm -hmm. barely. Good berry defect. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, defect, you come back with one hit point. Uh, as you all look around... 
and kind of takes stock of the situation, it occurs to you once again, Carly took a full brunt of this lightning bolt from this dragon very early on. And Greg, you are standing next to uh, Carly's body. very Boing. blackened body. Yes. Um, guys, I um, I mean, yeah, I uh, I just like pointing awkwardly, not knowing what to do. Mm -hmm. I think you might have stepped in me. I, mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, her body's definitely been like raked a few times by dragon claws because the dragon didn't give a rat's ass. Uh, it is... Uh, it's going to take some powerful magic to bring Carly back again. <laughs> uh. I don't think we can afford that again. Super well, dead. Who knows? Uh, so, that being said, uh, you have defeated two kobolds and... A dragon. Uh, Big dragon. What are you gonna do? Best friend. Fist bump. Defect. Yeah, totally. And I'm gonna approach Adis. Hold out a fist very seriously. I'll just like. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You don't suck. All the he time. Does not this. Human. Thanks. I mean, I try Boop. not to. Uh, interestingly Spoot. enough, Spoot, if you had hit with the Guiding Bolt, uh, and then, and then used your, uh, if you had hit with both the Guiding yeah. Bolt and the, the Spiritual Weapon doing both damage, yeah. It, it had 28 hit points left at the start of your turn, Spoot. Oh my gosh, that was so much damage on that Guiding Bolt. Yeah. I knew that that was, it was like either, you know, hold it for healing or just go ahead and try to kill the thing. But, you know, of course it would miss. <laughs> of course I'd roll a 12 and a 13. So, um, that's oh, that's funny. <laughs> Spoot will never know. Spoot will never know. Ives got it in chat says, Adis is hiding in the other room. It's hard to hear the DM in there, but not the blue screen of death yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, what do you want to do? Up the room. I'm going to harvest this thing. Okay. Go ahead. Make a survival check to harvest. Uh, well, what do you want to harvest, I guess, is the thing. Because it, it, it will be a check for each thing you want to try to get. Well, looking at it, what what uh, do, does Ada see anything he can harvest? Uh, I mean, there's... Horns, talons, scales, fangs. Uh, you might, you could probably get a, a little bit of hide, maybe that's not too too damaged. Sure, like maybe off of his back. Yeah, like he's got wings, so you know. I'll, uh, I'll go for some of the hide, and okay. um, maybe some talons and fangs. All right, so go ahead. Give me a survival check on the hide first. I'm scared. Twelve. Okay, with a twelve, uh, you get about you. You manage to figure out and safely remove. It's tough. It's very tough hide, and you've never. Uh, you don't know too too much about dragons, so you're not really sure what's going on. But you get about 10 get pounds of, of dragon hide, I'd say. I forgot to get D4 on survival. Oh, okay. 16. All right. Uh, so same still applies, but you get about uh, 20 pounds of dragon hide. And then talons. Yep, go for it. Twenty-four. Uh, so yeah, so she's got, uh, he's got four talons on each claw. Uh, so a total of sixteen, and you get them all. Yeah. You get sixteen blue dragon 
talons. And fangs. Mm hmm. Ha! Uh, you want to do your d4? Uh, yeah, with a 10, they're in there. You try to pull them out, but you end up just breaking the fangs, uh, so you don't get any of them, unfortunately. Could I break out one of the fangs? Uh, Adis has already broken all of the teeth. Every single oh, one of them? No. By the, yeah, by the time by the time you show up, he's he's been industrious. I know what they say. If at first you don't succeed, keep keep fucking it up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he's got twenty he's got twenty pounds of blue dragon hide and sixteen blue dragon talons. So not too shabby. Fact six dragon talons. Um the I picture shows gloves shows in your future. Does it have a horn actually too? too it does have a horn, yeah. Do you want to try to get the horn? Do you, do you want me to try and you help me? If I say, do you want some guidance or would you like some assistance? Assistance? Yeah, I'll leave it up to you, Adis. This is more your area. Yeah, so someone would have to be trained in survival to aid uh, Adis on this because of its complexity and, you know. Spoot's trained in survival, right? If Spoot Correct. wants to aid you, he can. Spoot is currently wrapping the body of uh, Kirli, but you could ask Spoot to help you no, dismember I'll, I'll this dragon. Well, by by the time uh, Adis gets around to going after the horn for defect, you could be done with Kirli's body. Fair enough. Great. I will help you with the... So am I assisting him, and he's rolling, and I'm just giving advantage? Correct. Or... Yeah. Okay. Or do, you, or do you... I can do it. No, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, well, you get your D4, so... <laughs> 18. Okay, with an 18, uh, you are able to just barely get the horn. Uh, you clear away the bit of uh, hide around the base of it. Uh, it's pretty torn up in that area through defect, like smashing it in the face with his axe and the turtle shell, like bonking it in the face. Um, but you do manage to successfully remove the central horn of this uh, blue dragon. Cool, and I'll just like give it to Defect uh, here. Sorry for fucking up the teeth. And I'll give him six talons also. Okay. I appreciate this. Yeah, so you can add that to your inventory. Greg, what are you doing during all this time? I am looking through this big ass room for anything shiny. Cool. Uh, do you start in the room with the dead kobolds, or you just go up in the room itself? Uh, do you mean in the smaller room? Yeah, I'm just asking. Uh, no, I will. I will be focusing on the big room, and we can do the smaller room probably on the way out. I'm sure Greg is going to cool, look cool. for gold everywhere. Yeah, go ahead, make an investigation check. Cool, cool. Twenty-two. Cool. So with a twenty-two, uh, you find a bunch more doors. You find uh, two more doors uh, off to the uh, west uh, along the wall as you're kind of walking around kind of that way. There's two more doors. Uh, you do know there's a door immediately to the north along the wall. Uh, you kind of it, That one has uh, like chains and a lock over it, though. Cool. I'm going to guess that's the pets. And then there's another door way, pardon me, way farther up uh, in the thing. And over in the northwest area of the room. And the room is like easily like 100 feet wide or whatever. It's massive. You find a gigantic pile of sand as like the whole n northwest corner has poured in. Like the desert itself has poured in. And uh, you can tell through your investigations that like that pile of sand is where the dragon probably like came and went from. There's a big hole. Um, and you see all kinds of uh, carvings and everything around the interior of this room. No shinies though, huh? Not in this room. What uh, kind of carvings like... With the twenty-two, can I tell anything about? Them? Are they just like iconog icon icon iconography, or just like decoration, or? Uh, yeah. So you see all this stuff. Um, 
you can go ahead and make a uh, make an arcana check. Actually, it would be a religion check. Make a religion check. Sorry. Okay. They actually Tw have the same thing, and they yeah. roll the same thing. So that's twenty three. Very nice. Uh, so yeah, you find carvings that indicate that you are in what was once a temple uh, of a particular goddess who is named Shura. And you have pro you might have heard this t talked about uh, by like a goblin shaman or something at one point. Uh, but you just know that Shura is one of the old gods. Um, you don't know anything about her or him. You just know that it's uh, an like a really, really, really old god. Um, and you also find carvings that indicate that uh, this was their main temple in the city of Threl. And this room here was like the big ceremonial audience chamber. So that big hole that all the sanders come in may have actually been the uh, entrance to the temple at one point before it was collapsed. Okay. Um, great. I will report back and say, I think that locked door is the one with the pets. We probably shouldn't go in there, but I didn't find anything shiny. I, I, you know, I, I gotta say, I want some shiny stuff. Where's the treasure? There was another door along that eastern wall up more north. Okay, so there's one to the north, and then there were two on the west. I thought the one on the north had the. Lock so on. there, there were two around. There were two on the southern wall to the west of where you started. Okay. And then, gotcha. along the eastern wall, there was the one with the locks, and then further north along that wall, there was another door. Gotcha. All right, I will um, listen at the door that doesn't have the lock on it. I'm going to be cautious about this. Yeah, go ahead. Make a perception check. Um, well. Um, cool. Yeah, you do not hear anything in the room. <laughs> Does anybody want to come here and find out? I don't know which door. Like, there's a locked one and a not. There's no treasure. One of these is probably the... Pets, anybody help? Come with me. I'm assuming Adis takes like a long time to do whatever. <laughs> yeah, by the time you kind of figure out all the carvings and you find all these doors and you go over there, uh, the uh, tending to Carly's body and Adis's adventures in dragon cutting have uh, come to an end. Is uh, on my dragon cutting? <laughs> sure. Spoot is stuck off the bat, so he is not adventuring currently. Um, what did you do? He is somehow off of the tiled area and therefore trapped in a black void of nothing. I believe he's entered another dimension. How did you get there? <laughs> I don't know. I think a portal must have opened, and I've now been transported to the plane of another existence. There we go. There, I fixed you. Thank you. Oh god, that was so scary, guys. I couldn't see anything, and there was no sound, <laughs> and no light, and <laughs> kind of quiet. Reminded me of being inside my shell. You know what? I think I'm going to go back. <laughs> Adis has an existential crisis for a moment. <laughs> um, great. I am fascinated portal fence <laughs> <laughs> like i didn't do it i swear guys uh, i've been here this whole time um did y'all stop stepping on me <laughs> <laughs> defects trying to pick you up uh <laughs> i would i am fascinated by the temples so i would like to go explore now that i'm in the room i don't know if i would have been able to follow grig around or if i was still with dragon i but i'm defect and i are tethered i think at some point, I would have come back to y'all. I'm not going to open any more doors, just willy -nilly. Yeah, so Greg, Greg returns. You, all are, you are all in the same place at the same time. Greg, you can tell them whatever you desire to tell them. 
Yeah, so there's like carvings. This clearly was like a temple, and there's like some goddess. I think it's like Shra or something. Shura. Some guy was talking about it one time, Shura. but I remember it. And so, but hmm. but like, come on, over here, there are two doors that might be treasure. I think I think the locked one and then the not locked one. One of them might be the pets, but one of them is gonna be the treasure. I just can we get the treasure, please, please? <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's 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 see if there's something out out here worth getting since we've come this far. Um, does the name of the god sound familiar to me, Jared? Make a religion check, Spoot, with advantage because it's about deities. Oh, lucky me. Oh, God. <laughs> no, never heard of her. Oh, well, that's interesting. Not with a 12, okay. you haven't. I'm new to this religion thing, so must not be, must not be a big one. Yeah, you didn't uh, have that book. I didn't have that book. Yeah, it wasn't in the, the swamp library. Okay, well, you know, Greg's pretty excited, and I'm still a little shell-shocked, but I'm going to follow Greg. Defect, I think we should go help Greg. What do you say? Let us go, young turtle friend. A uh, quick question before we move into stuff. Is it still short enough time that I have uh, Chomper out, or is Chomper gone? Uh, by the time you, far... by the time you've gone back to your friends, Chomper is gone. Okay. Um, and then the temporary hit points do they go away without nope. being hit? Okay, great. Yeah, no, they stay until you either finish a a rest. I think a long rest. I'd have to double check that, or until they are used up. Okay, cool. I was just making sure. I couldn't remember. Great. Yeah, so but it's all gone. Yeah, but Chomper, Chomper's out of there. Cool. Bye, Chomper. This one doesn't have a lock on it. I didn't hear anything behind it, but I don't know. And then the other one has a lock on it. I don't know if the treasure is more likely to be behind a lock or not. I could take a listen if you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carly, come on. You're dragging behind. <laughs> uh, you she ever so respectfully prop Carly up against a wall. Maybe I can join you. <laughs> I keep we casting can. Spare the Dying, like. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can make a perception check on the door, or do you want to investigate the door? Um... First, I will perception check it just to see if I hear anything behind. Okay, go for it. Yeah. Good guidance. Guidance for you. I need it. Mm hmm. Although I could have just Where maybe would... used my passive. <laughs> 11. Uh, you are confident there is nothing behind that door. Although. As you were walking to the north, you swear you heard noises coming from behind the locked door because your passive is so ridiculously high. Wait, <laughs> down here? Yep. Mm -hmm. What did it sound like? Did I notice like a specific sound or? They sounded like growls. So you're not going to open that door. Great. I was right. I cast lock on that door. <laughs> Does it it's got it? it's got chains and a padlock over it, so I still cast lock on it. Okay. <laughs> Can we go wait? Is there treasure in here? Do you think there's treasure in here? Can we go find the treasure? Uh I don't hear anything, so why why not? I'll open it. I haven't been hit yet. Let's do this. Well okay. Uh, if won't... it's got treasure, there's a chance that they could have trapped it. Just, uh, just I, fine, 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 fine. I'll look for traps. I'll stand behind Greg and just knock an arrow so it's ready. I will check for traps because... Okay. All right. To. Go ahead. Make an investigation check for traps. I'll give you guidance, but you don't need it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, cool. Uh, well, they might use it in the next minute because it lasts for a minute. It's yeah. true. Uh, yeah, you're confident there are no traps on this door. I don't need traps. Thanks, Boot. But come on. Really? The rest of these doors were crap. Open the door. Oh. I don't know. So we're talking about a dragon here. Okay, so, so you're opening the door? I'm opening the door. All right. You open the door, and the first thing you see is a draconic-looking statue right in front of you over there. I thought we were going to have a baby dragon. <laughs> I know, right? Um, you yeah. You You look through and you see... So, uh, you run into the room, and I need 
all of you to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh -huh. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Well, for the record, so it's at the top of the map. What? Do you see what's at the top of the map? Yeah, <laughs> I see it. Spoot's so, still in the doorway. I don't know if that counts or not. Can't, can't see anything. Uh, I don't need a deck save from Carly, though, so you're fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> Greg passes. Defect it. fails. With the 17? Does the defect get advantage? Oh, no. Are you still raging? No, it's... That's just I, barbarian. Oh, it's, oh, it's that thing. Um, as long as he's conscious. He yeah, so it. then, yeah, you, you succeed. Sorry, that's my bad. Wait, um, is Bless gone, too? Oh, yeah, Bless is way gone. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, a 12 is a failure for Spoot, and a 22 is a success for Adis. Oh, God. Do I trigger, so do I trigger it in the doorway? Yeah, no, I'm sorry, too. Do I trigger yeah, it in the Yeah, so what happens is uh, uh, Defect and Greg kind of rush into the room, and the statue of the dragon <laughs> releases a uh, cone of fire that is 15 feet in size. Um, for 14 points of damage or half as much on a success. So seven points of fire damage to everyone except Spoot. And Spoot is now on the ground. Isn't that uh, nice? So Spoot goes down. Somebody can give him a good berry if they have one. I'll give him another good berry. Cool. Defect is down too. Oh, defect is down too? Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, does anyone have a good berry left? Yeah. Cool. I have two. Cool. So you immediately pop those in, and you can see this like glowing orb, uh, in that's like buried in the chest of the dragon statue is starting to glow again. Move, move. Yep, moving. I'll come get to up. this side. I get out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. So you two run out of the room, uh, and indeed it unleashes another <sighs> torrent. Nobody's in the path of it, though, this time. Uh, Adis, you do notice some carvings on the bottom of the statue. Um, can I read it? Do you speak Draconic? Yes. Then no. The two Draconic-speaking people outside. Are hiding outside because yeah, they're going to die. Outside. <laughs> what does it say? Um, a, a few seconds go by and it like recharges and blasts again. I, I, I write on a paper airplane and I just throw it out <laughs> and away, like with the scribbles on it. Yeah, uh, you throw the paper airplane, uh, the fire whew, burns the paper airplane. This says, buy more cheese when you go out. That doesn't make any sense, Adis. <laughs> oh, I thought it said, must construct additional pylons. So <laughs> so it, it looks like it breathes breathes this fire every six seconds. Oh my I, god, Carly's back from the dead. Turn it off, Carly. Dead Carly. <laughs> Carly just wants to see. From this see what you're doing! Like to help. I was by myself in the dark. It's scary, isn't it? Uh, so you can someone can like rush in and avoid the flames during the time that uh, it recharges. Um, either, defect. either defect or spoot, doesn't matter. Whichever one of you goes in there, uh, the word roar is carved into the base of the thing yeah, i'll get the effect i'll have the what i'll have the yeah. light you're right i was gonna assist you. or sorry it's uh it says speak the sound of dragons name that which all creatures fear is what it says okay well i'm gonna just go ahead and cast some healing word on myself um not that it'll really matter but so it again blows fire uh can I, like, I want to look at it and pull out my Tinker's Tools and be like, all right, can I fix this? Let me, how do I turn this off? I, I, if I can assist Grig in any way, I will. Uh, what do you see over there? What's on that side? How does it, is it glowing from this thing? Does it seem to be connected? How do I? So, hold right. on. <laughs> <laughs> Did I Defect or Spoot run in and read what was on the side of the thing? Yes, I gave myself some healing and I ran in to read okay. it as I try to duck as low as I can. Yeah, and... yeah. you just need to sidestep over back behind Adis or Greg and you'd be fine. Okay. And they can get out of the way. Um, <laughs> Sorry, defect. Yeah, so this thing is breathing fire and it says, speak the sound of dragons, name that which all creatures fear. 
hate the sound of dragons. Can I like roll a wisdom check to see if my character's smarter than I am? Just kidding. While, while they're doing that, I'm gonna start rage looting in the gold. Yeah, it is a big ass pile of treasure. Uh, and so as, gonna... as yeah, Spoot, what? Save me some. <laughs> Sorry, I just heard what he said. I'm gonna try to 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 say roar or or you know make a sound of a dragon first. The sound. Okay, you you make a sound and nothing happens. Okay, okay, that didn't work. All right, so then I'll try to like think of the the translation in draconic and say the word in draconic. Say roar. Yeah. Okay, you say roar and the gem powers down. Oh. Well, that's boring. How does this thing work? Hang on. We don't take all the gold. I'm just hang on. I just want to look at. I'm gonna this. grab Greg. Maybe and I need to that... take this work is where we will end for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Woof. Big pile of loot in front of our adventurers. Powered down, last ditch defense effort. Uh, well done, everybody. Uh, you survived. Oh. You not only survived, most of you, you killed a dragon. I told uh, you we could do it. And we'll have to... Sort of. We'll have to figure out what uh, what goes on with Carly uh, next episode. Hmm. Uh, so well done, everybody. Thank you to everyone who watched for tonight. We'll go around, say some goodbyes, and I'll figure out if we're going to rate something. Uh, so let's start off with uh, Spoot. Go ahead, say goodbye, goodbye. plug anything. Yeah. So long. Vita shape now. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, usual plugs. Check out. Oh, well, I'll let Amber do her plug. Sorry, I almost stepped on you. Um, check out mid level uh -huh. adventurers. Uh, whenever we do that next, sorry, we've been a little behind. That's kind of me having life things. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Glad we didn't all die. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go down to Adis. Thanks for watching, guys. Popped in at the last second to kill a dragon. <laughs> yeah. Should have been spooked. And uh Kelly? Should have been spooked. Yeah, I'm sorry you got blasted there. But I used to just enough. Well if you I'm want dead. to do something tanky next that can take a dragon's breath. So you should dead. come back as a skeleton. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Really hard. It's a lich. Just be undead, and it'll be really interesting with the cleric in the party. Yeah, be like a vampire or something. Uh, we can talk about what yes. you want to do. <laughs> After think about. Uh, Amber, Grig. Great. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, once again, I'm Amber, aka uh, Greg. Um, you know the usual story dice friend time is uh, the podcast I do with some other folks. We just released uh, Session 9, Episode 10, wherever you find your podcasts. Very cool. And uh, Defect. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, Merry Thanksgiving to everyone. Um, I that. Word of advice. If you want to spend more quality time with your family, make sure to bring up politics at the dinner table. Always a great time. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> ha, You'll learn so much. <laughs> you learn about your uncle and your aunt and <laughs> yeah, everyone else. No, seriously, or, have a great Thanksgiving. Eat, drink, be merry. Yes, enjoy it over Zoom and don't infect and travel and make this even worse than it is. Where yes, indeed. Zoom? Everybody Thanksgiving responsibly if you're in the U.S. Uh, I have been Jared. I have been your dungeon master. We have been newly forged. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I uh, really appreciate it. We're going to do a little Yo Skyler Seymour raid. Uh, so we will see you all next week. Goodbye, everyone.